What is up my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators? Welcome back to another video. Once again, if you can hear that background noise, I apologize. Construction's going on, the washing machine, or washing machine, what is it called? The one that washes your clothes? Washing machine? <laughs> yeah. I manifested a lottery win. Not like the freaking millions of dollar Powerball or anything like that, but I manifested a nice, good lump sum of money that I was really needing and I wanted to tell you guys how I did it because I manifest for money, but I was also manifesting specifically for the lottery. And I just wanted to share the affirmations I used, kind of what happened that day, etc., so that you guys can do the same. I just wanted to give a little like reassurance because I know that like manifesting winning the lottery is like a really it's, it's, if you're manifesting a lump sum of money, I feel like one of the main things that you're thinking that it could come to you by is the lottery. But then there's a lot of like negative talk around it. Like it's very much in people's assumptions that it's hard to win or you can't win, but think about it. Like somebody wins every single day. No, like thousands of people win every single day. You could win like fucking $500 every single day like I don't think you would really be complaining about that if you're manifesting You know a lottery if you're manifesting money in general, but I just want to let you know It is absolutely possible. You can manifest anything that your heart desires It's absolutely possible for you to manifest a lottery win. I was manifesting money and I didn't necessarily like Say that it had to come from the lottery like I try not to restrict myself when it comes to certain things like I just say I Manifest money out of thin air. I, money always flows to me like water that sort of thing business is booming um, but I Kind of wanted to win just because I like wanted to do it to prove that I could so I have affirmations that I EFT tap every single morning um, And I have affirmations for every subject and that's pretty much one of the first things I do after I wake up I'll make coffee and I EFT tap I EFT tap in all of my affirmations, manifestation ability, self-concept, any SP, work, money, any other random thing that I'm wanting, it's all in a note on my phone and I go through the whole thing. Um, it takes me about 20 minutes or so to just like really, I, just focus on that and I think that it's super, super important because first of all, when you wake up, the first 30 minutes, that after you wake up are crucial to affirming and manifesting because your subconscious is wide open in that first 30 minutes after you wake up, just as it's wide open as you're falling asleep at night. So those are the times when it's very, very important to stay on your mental diet and your positive thoughts game, like a lot, trying to align with everything that you really want. It's very important in those moments. So I always like to start my day by doing that. Like specifically for the lottery, when um, this wasn't this is just like something that I have I think one affirmation or so Specific to that but most of them just revolve around me easily getting money in general um, But every time I do I use the I use the app uh, Jack pocket It is a legit lottery app um, You put in the state that you're in uh, I believe it's Canada and the US and you can um, do scratch offs, pools for the like jackpot. They have Jack Pocket Live sweepstakes, which is how I ended up winning my money. It is a charity based donation game. It's basically bingo and they run it Tuesday through Fridays, I believe. Uh, so you have very many opportunities to win throughout the week. I believe about one to three thousand people play this everything every um, game so I felt like that was the easiest way to manifest a lottery win was through this game um, and I also I have I don't know why I have this weird assumption that like I always win at bingo <laughs> and I always win games like that I don't know where that came from I guess I was just really good at playing that stuff when I was a kid but I've always had that assumption that I always win games <laughs> anyways that that most likely really helped um just building assumptions uh doing affirmations to create assumptions around a subject like that so i've been kind of playing this game and manifesting every time i get on the game i'm like 
I'm a winner. I always win this. It's so easy for me. I just kind of say that as I play. And then every single time that someone else has won, their little name pops up on the screen. And I say, no matter who it is, oh my God, I can't believe I won. I always win. I'm so lucky. It's just like I immediately revise. So it's like I've always kind of known. I mean, it's an assumption. I've always kind of been like, I'm going to win. Like, I know I'm going to win. Randomly, I had to take in my car for an oil change and I drive like a foreign car so I have to pay a lot for services um, and I'm also preparing for a move. I'm taking like a three-day road trip to get to where I'm going and I need my car and my AC broke. And so now I had them check it out when they did my oil change. I was hoping it was just like a simple, like the filter was needed to be changed. Um, and it ended up being a bigger issue. So basically, you know, I'm leaving in like a week and now I have to pay like all this money that I was expecting to use for, you know, my road trip and me being in this new place. I'm basically just blowing through my savings to fix my car. And I was like, dude, like this is defeating. This is defeating me right now. So what I did was I came home that day and I, I've written these, they, they call them FU letters. You know, I actually first heard about FU letters. This is crazy, but I heard about this in my childhood through Oprah. Don't ask me why I was like eight years old and watching Oprah. But I remember she was talking about these FU letters. I don't think she called them that. I've heard them called that recently. Where when you're upset with someone, and also she's a really big manifester, if you guys didn't know that. She's, she talks about how she manifests her whole life, which is crazy because she's super successful. But she was talking about years ago, um, if you're upset with someone, you know, like write out the whole story, write out the old story, everything you're mad at them about, and then rip that thing up, burn it, whatever it takes. It tells your mind to let it go. And I used to do that when I was a kid and I didn't even realize that's why I was doing it. Recently, I, I heard about the FU letters again. And so I've been writing them to people that I want to, you know, kind of forget about certain behaviors they've been doing. I've been writing it to people who I want to get out of my reality and telling them to leave and they don't deserve to be in my life. You can say whatever you want. That's the cool thing about it. Let all that shit out. If you're manifesting anything and you have any sort of like blocks or anything around the topic that's you know you, it keeps getting an annoying thought into your head and you think it could be possibly stopping you from getting your manifestation write an f u letter to that person to money hey money what the fuck are you doing why do you not, why aren't you showing up for me like hey um sp what the fuck are you doing you're a piece of shit why do you keep showing up as a piece of shit write an f u letter to your old self saying you know what old self Fuck you. Stop creating bad circumstances for me. Like, why do you keep creating all these issues for me? Like, stop. <laughs> it's just a way to get the old story out so you can focus on the new one. So write the F you letter. And then after that, you can write... This is from um, uh, Nikki in the Mermaid Gang. Manifest for me, I think, is her channel. And then you're supposed to write after that a command letter, which then commands the person... Uh, whatever circumstance to then conform to how you want it to be. I feel like every time I do those things, I end up getting what I want immediately. I had never written an FU letter to money before. So I wrote this letter. After I got home from the car shop, I got home and I was just stressed because I'm like, there's no way that this is going to make me not be able to move. There's no way, like there's no way. Like I refuse to accept that, I refuse to believe that. Dude, I was pissed. My writing is like chicken scratch. Dear money, where the fuck do you think you keep going? <laughs> you don't get to leave without coming back, so get your ass back here in every way possible. Through the fucking lottery. <laughs> Through ways I could not even fathom. In large sums. Now. Quickly. Thank you. Yeah, so that's what I wrote. Um, I was very worked up. But, you know, I wrote this and I, I went about my day and I was just, I just, tried not to think about it honestly because I did not want to think about it anymore. I got a notification from the Jackpot app and it was like, you still have time to, to enter and win the night sweepstakes. And I was like, meh, whatever. 
because then my I, I guess I got my I let my 3D get to me a little bit and I was like oh fuck this then I was like actually you know what let me just let me just do it fuck it so I clicked on it signed up for the sweepstakes like an hour before and I got an email you're a sweepstakes winner Aaron <laughs> what I was freaking out about I feel a thousand percent better and everything ended up being a-okay just like I was literally saying it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine like everything's gonna be fine it always works out for me it ended up working out for me so I was like telling my whole family about it and my brother <laughs> my brother who has this mindset of he is always a winner he's the luckiest guy in the world everybody always tells him oh my god you're so lucky you always win everything I tell him about this app and so he signs up and he fucking he bought like a two dollar scratch off first try and won fifty dollars okay i wanted to check and see if there was like a way that i could share this with you guys and you would get credits okay so there is a referral thing you can sign up for the app i'll leave it in the description if you want to do it this way you don't have to you can go like do it the old-fashioned way in the gas station or whatever but you'll get two dollars, so you can use that two dollars by scratch off and hopefully win fifty bucks, fifty bucks like my brother did. But I'm gonna put that referral link in the uh, description. The affirmations that I use for this. I'm sorry, this video was like blah 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 blah. blah. Welcome if you're new here. <laughs> this is how I talk. Since you guys sometimes want to know exact affirmations people use, this is the only affirmation I used around the lottery. I always win the lottery. It is rigged in my favor. The cards are always rigged in my favor. That's all I ever say. So you could say, I always win the lottery jackpot. It is rigged in my favor. The lottery is rigged in my favor. I always pick the winning numbers. Winning the lottery is, is, is a specific manifestation and us. So might as well get more specific. And that's the cool thing about manifestation is you can be as specific as you want or as vague as you want. It doesn't matter. Here's some general money affirmations you can use that I say. Money always falls into my lap. I create it out of thin air. I'm constantly receiving money out of the blue. It flows to me like water. I always receive large sums of money. I always have plenty of money. I always have more than enough. Money is so easy for me to manifest. It comes to me quickly and easily. Everything I touch turns to gold. It is safe for me to have a lot of money. My money is safe. Well, that is probably long enough for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, and I hope you guys win the lottery. I hope you get everything that you want. If you need help getting anything that you want, if you want my advice, guess what? Oh my God, I meant to say it in the intro, but I forgot. I am offering coaching, one-on-one -on -one email coaching. So if you are interested in coaching, send me an email that is in the description box below. But if you just have a question, just drop it in the comments. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a like, share it with all your friends, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.